Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, this will be an amazing video for every one of you because in this particular video, we are going to discuss about image segmentation and how you can implement it with just writing five lines of code, right? So initially, if you have this kind of image or probably you have this kind of image, then you will be able to convert it something like this, okay? Now here you can see that how the segmentation is basically done. It so object detection is also there. You can see over here traffic light person, everything is there. Apart from that, the segmentation, you know, it is being able to do this kind of segmentation where with different, different colors, uh, you'll, you'll be able to see each and every objects in, into this, right? Not only this, suppose if I have this specific image, if I apply this kind of segmentation, then finally you'll be able to get something like this, right? And this is all possible just by this five lines of code, right? So we'll try to see what it is and the library that we are going to use is pixel lib. So what is pixel lib over here? You can see um, the pixel lib is a library for performing segmentation of objects in images and videos. So it both supports both in images and videos right now in this particular video, we'll focus on images, you know, and then in the upcoming videos, we'll see in videos how we can do it, right? It'll be pretty much amazing. I tried it with both and trust me with the approach that we used to follow before, and with the approach of this, you'll be able to do it very, very easily. And here you can also do custom training, which I will be showing you as we go ahead. Okay. So for this first thing is that what are libraries you actually require? You require TensorFlow, you require TensorFlow GPU, any of them. And there is also some dependencies of libraries that are required. Okay. And you can also check out this entire GitHub page. So let's proceed and let's see. First of all, I'm just going to create my requirement.txt file. So here you can see, uh, these are my requirement.txt files, uh, which you actually require. Okay. One is OpenCV Python, SkyKit image, pillow, pixel lib. Okay. So this all libraries you actually required. And one more, which I forgot to write over here is TensorFlow GPU, right? So this all libraries you actually require, and this is the dependencies for this pixel lib library. Okay. At the end of the day, we are going to use pixel lib because there are techniques over here which will actually help you to do the image segmentation, both in images and videos, right? So please make sure that you keep this requirement.txt file and then go to the terminal and just write pip install, pip install minus r requirement.txt. So you just have to write like this, pip install minus r requirement requirements.txt. That's it, right? So automatically all the requirements will be installed. Okay. I don't want to do it again because I have already done it. Okay. So let's go to the next step. Now the next step is that I will go to my app.py and in this particular uh, code, what we are actually going to do is that we're going to import the pixel lab. We are going to import pixel lab dot instance import instance segmentation. So fine guys, we have actually imported both this library and we are going to use this instance segmentation for doing the segmentation. And for this, we also required a library probably like RCNN and all so that it will be able to do the object detection. And based on that, it will also be able to show the boxes to us, right? So for that, we are going to use this H5 file. And where did I get this H5 file? Because it is already given away. If I go down, you'll be able to see all the examples over here. And they have released what all different, different types of models are there. One is deep lab and one is masked RCNN, which they have actually used. And uh, remember guys, the, 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 you know, the inference part is very, very quick. Uh, if you are also using this, so just go over here. Okay. And, uh, you can download this mass RCNN coco.h5, right? So this RCNN is basically, uh, trained on the Coco data set. So what you have to do, go over here. There is have, there is something called as tutorial on back background editing and videos. And here you can actually see the, uh, the note is there which says deep lab and mars rcnn are available in the release of this repository so once you click this you'll be able to go over here and you'll be able to select this okay so again let me just go and click it so you'll be getting this page and then go down right though go down and just click this okay so mars rcnn and for this particular purpose we are going to use mars rcnn okay now after we use this after i download it if i click this i'll get downloaded and here you can see that i'll be able to find this h5 file so I've actually uploaded this in my same working location. Perfect. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this segment image. Uh, first of all, we are going to initialize with the help of instance segmentation. This will be an object. And then we are going to load this particular uh, H5 file for the object detection purpose. And along with that, we'll try to also do the segment image. So this is both object detection and image segmentation. Okay. 
So here uh, in the segment image, the first image is basically your input image. And then there will be a parameter which is called as show bb uh, b boxes is equal to true. You have to set it as true. Otherwise, you'll be able not be able to see the boxes. And after taking this image, after performing the image segmentation and object detection, you will be able to get the output name something like this, right? So let's quickly run. Right now, I'm giving hangover.jpg. I hope everybody has seen the hangover image, right? Uh, so this particular movie, hangover part one. I hope many people have seen it. So let's see how we are going to get an output. Once then output is basically created, you'll be able to get output one dot JPG. Okay. So let's go and run it. And here we go and make sure that you have all the libraries installed perfectly guys. Then only things will work. Okay. So I'm now executing this. Uh, you'll be able to see all the image segmentation will be done and it will actually create an image called as output one. So here you can see processed image saved successfully in the current working directory. And this is my output one. And if I want to show you the image, this is how it looks like. Yes, it has been detecting this building as TV, but uh, person is detected, person is detected and refrigerator because this looks like a refrigerator itself, but amazing accuracy. Let's try some other one. So here I'm going to give you this image. Okay. Cycle.jpg. Let's see. So I'm just going to try this one cycle.jpg and probably give my image as output dot uh, or I'll say output two dot jpg. Okay and probably I'll run it. So probably this will also take some time to run it. And again, uh, it depends on your system also based on the inferences that you're actually getting. Okay. So quickly, quickly, let's, let's see. Yes, it is saved. What is my file name output two? So initially I had this specific image and now I'm able to get this specific image and you can see how accurately everything is there. You can see this petted plant. You can see person, cars, this, this, everything is there. Amazingly, right? It is being able to, even traffic light is given over here, right? So this is my second example. Third example, I can also take something like this. This is my test.jpg. You'll be able to see input.jpg over here. Let's see this one football. I can see that it is not that clear, but let me try this one also. So here I can say football.jpg. Okay, football dot jpg and here i'm just going to say output three so just with this three line of code and in the upcoming videos i'll also be showing you how to do this in videos okay it will be pretty much amazing in live streams also I'll, I'll i'll be able to show you how these things work because i've been exploring with respect to image segmentation trust me the older approach that we used to do and you may be thinking krish how to do custom training don't worry about that that also i'll try to show custom training of different images and all also you can actually do so this is my output three now here you can see that yes, uh, within this also it is being properly determined person and all. But here you can see the tennis is basically determined. This was not tennis actually. Yes, some some amount of error is there. Definitely uh, not 100% accuracy, but yes, a good accuracy altogether, right? Uh, let's see one more. So I have this football one dot JPG. Let's see this also if I'm able to get in a proper way. And I have output four, perfect. And let me run it. So here you'll be able to see now, I think it will work perfectly fine. And uh, I'm just giving my input and output image by just using this RCNN model. And I think it will work. So it is get saved. Now let me see my output four. So here you, you can see, right? Uh, this was my initial image. Sorry, this was my initial image. Now after doing the segmentation doll, I'm actually getting something like this. And here clearly everything is basically getting determined, even stop sign also. So I hope you like this particular video. Please do subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and I'll put all this particular thing in my GitHub so that you can actually work it out, right? I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you one doll. Bye-bye.